Good evening to you, everyone. Tiff Lorendo here in the uh, 8 News Now Weather Center. And as you probably read the headline there, uh, we want to explain and uh, break down everything that's going to go on uh, with this nor'easter, this bomb cyclone that is already starting to batter uh, the East Coast. The reason why it's important is because this is one of the biggest storms for them for in years and, of course, could be the biggest storm uh, of the year for sure, and it's going to impact us in a certain way too. Our weather's fantastic, you're gonna see that at 11. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanna de dedicate my 11 o'clock weather strictly to you, strictly to 8 News Now, or to, to Las Vegas weather on 8 News Now, because we wanna know the weekend recreation forecast, we wanna know how the temperatures are gonna be, how the skies are gonna be, and how the winds are. So I wanna dedicate all that to you for Las Vegas and Southern Nevada, and dedicate the nor'easter and the east coast weather to uh, Facebook, here on Facebook and online. So uh, you can share that with all your friends. First, I wanna uh, turn this camera around and I kinda explain it to you, because I've had to cover four of these, all right? These nor'easters, these coastal storms, when I worked in Philly, you guys remember when I left briefly? Well, I had to cover four nor'easters in one year. First, I wanna begin with this. Those of you that are from the east coast, you know what I'm talking about. Give us, let me know if you're from the east coast. Lisa, have, are you from the East Coast? I can't remember if you, you just said that you're from there or not. You guys all know what this is like if you lived along the East Coast. So all these watches and warnings and alerts in effect right now uh, go from the Carolinas all the way up to Maine, all right? So as we close in, these wide areas are blizzard warnings, okay? We're talking strong winds whipping around snow, and that goes all the way from Maine all the way through Hartford, Oh man, New York, Long Island, look at this, all the way down to uh, Delaware and through Atlantic City, Philadelphia, wow. So we also have winter storm warnings, which you see in purple, coastal warnings too, because we could also have some flooding as well on the coast. So a lot going on here. Next, we're going to go to the satellite and radar. Linda from the East Coast, you know I'm talking about, I had a friend that just moved there, uh, Scott, probably going to join in because... <laughs> Uh, he's just moved to Atlantic City from Las Vegas. I know he loves it out there, but Scott, we, we just told him to hunker down. So right now, already seeing some of the snow increase in these areas where you see the darker shades of blue is where we're getting some heavier snow coming down right now. And as you can see, that coastal low uh, mixing in with that cold Arctic air, changing it over snow up along the coast, the Delmarva all the way up the I-95 corridor, tri-state area, New York already getting hit, Philly getting some snow already, all right? So is Atlantic City for sure. Uh, Tom's River, Long Island, moving up to Providence, all right? Not quite up in Maine just yet, but this is Friday night, and it will continue to move its way up. Now, let's get to our future cast and show you what to expect. Real quick, though, okay, what we mean by a bomb cyclone is the fact that it has rapid intensification, all right? The center of the storm, okay, the, the pressure, uh, it rapidly intensifies and that creates a very, very strong wind along with it too. So here's what we're going to see for those of you joining us, okay? So this low will continue to move up along the coast. Just to note, the further it is out shore, the more snow you're going to get, all right? The more closer it is, or even onshore, the more you tend to get stronger winds, but this is still gonna produce very strong winds. So right now, when you see these little ice, what we call them isobars, the closer they get, that tells us how strong the winds are. And look how close these are together compared to out here. So this is gonna whip around such strong winds, this could provide coastal flooding as it pushes the water up along the coastline there. The blue areas indicate where we're getting some heavy rain or heavy snow, and that's a lot of dark blue coming up along the coast. Remember, Delaware, okay, New Jersey, uh, Pennsylvania, Philly, New York, Long Island, and then we're looking at Boston and Nantucket, New England, these areas there. It's gonna go up along the coast there, whipping around those very strong winds with gusts possibly up to 50 miles per hour in spots, maybe even more, and it will continue up along the coast of, over towards Maine, okay? So we're talking a lot of snow, a lot of strong winds. There are blizzard warnings for a reason because visibility will reduce to less than a quarter of a mile. It'll almost be wide out. In fact, a lot of the governors, even the Boston governor, has talked about the fact that people should just stay in and not even go out at all. 
Snow totals, when it's all over and done with, look at this. We're looking at anywhere in Boston and Bangor, Maine, possibly up to two feet of snow. Two feet, okay? When I worked in Philadelphia, I've had to cover four of these, and two of those give us a foot of snow, and it was bad. <laughs> like you couldn't even, you couldn't go anywhere. So these guys are looking at two feet of snow when this is over and done with, when we're talking about Sunday to Monday. So they got a lot going up against them. And the reason why this could impact us, guys, is the fact that anybody flying out, you could have a ripple effect as far as cancellations go and delayed flights. So keep that in mind. If you're going to the East Coast, this is probably not a good time. Again, uh, they're all out there getting ready for this. Uh, they all know about uh, hitting... Um, when, we were, when I was out there, everyone would go hit all the uh, grocery stores and get all the milk and eggs and hunker down. And that's what my friend Scott is doing. That's what I'm sure a lot of your relatives are doing. And those of you that are from the East Coast, congratulations. You're in great weather here in Las Vegas. Coming up at 11 o'clock. I'm going to explain ex exactly what to expect this weekend for recreation from the mountain to the lake to maybe Las Vegas to the local parks. We'll talk about winds. We'll talk about what to expect as far as temperatures go and what to expect next week as we head into the first week of February. Thank you guys for watching. Please share this with your friends, especially anybody that might be heading to the East Coast or with your, uh, your East Coast relatives out there. So have a great night, guys, and we will see you on 8 News Now at 11.